I'm cold. I need something cozy. Does anybody know where I can get a sweater? Greg? That's just... I'm sorry. You just can't. You can't. <laughs> Sweaterdale, Greg Solo, right now. The holiday season is in full effect, and there's no better way to hook your clients up than with the sweater nail look. I'm gonna go through some really easy steps to show you how to execute this design with ease and precision. So I've already filled Stephanie's finger. What we've done is we've basically prepped the surface to ensure that we have great adhesion for the gel paint. Now, what I wanna be able to do is I wanna be able to put a coat of protein bond on the surface, and then what that's going to do, it's going to ensure that the gel paint or polish is not gonna chip from the surface at all. So now what I'm gonna show you guys how to do is create a really pretty gray color. I'm going to take Young Nails Fizz, which is the really bright white. All I'm going to do is scoop out a nice amount from the pot onto a nice ceramic tile. Now to make a really nice gray, all I need to do is touch the black. I don't need a lot just like that. So once I actually put that down, what I'm going to be able to do is press it all through, and then you can see on the camera how the color is starting to turn into a really beautiful gray. Once all the color has been mixed out extremely well, what I'm going to do is scoop it back up press it down one more time, and then just do one more thorough press out. And what this is going to ensure is that what's ever on the top of the spatula is going to blend in extremely well. You notice how I'm pushing, pushing in, pushing in, pushing in, and what it's gonna do is gonna push all the color into a nice puddle. That way you have a nice, heavy amount to work with throughout the design. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Pro Gel Sculptor and I'm just gonna load my brush up just by kind of brushing through the paint. That way it's loaded up inside the brush. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the tip just to grab enough. I wanna be able to establish a really nice foundation. The foundation, again, doesn't have to be super opaque or super perfect. All you wanna be able to do is make sure that you get it tight around the cuticle area, around the growth channels, and then through the body of the nail, and then that way it's going to be the perfect setup for your second coat. So notice how I'm just working through the whole entire body, brushing nice and even all the way through, and then I can start using the tip of my brush and getting as close to the cuticle as I possibly can. And then once I actually have it on, we're gonna quickly get this into the light. I'm gonna set it for a minimum of 30 seconds so that we're gonna get a really nice cure all the way through. Now that we've established the base, it's gonna be really easy for us to get a really nice opaque coverage on that second coat. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a nice even amount on the end of my brush. And what I like to do is I'm just gonna kind of work it at the back end to try to get it as close to the cuticle without touching. And then once we've gotten all the way to the back, then I could actually start to use the brush just to brush it evenly all the way through the body. And this is going to give it a really rich coverage that our clients deserve. After you apply the second coat, make sure that you stick it inside the light for 60 seconds. This is also gonna prevent the glitter from sticking to the surface because you have such a well-cured application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish the vertical lines and what I'm gonna use is our striper brush to establish that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna make sure that I load up my brush and then once I've loaded, I notice how I'm spinning my brush inside the surface. And then what I wanna be able to do is I want to be able to paint out some really, really rich vertical lines. And you'll notice that I'm trying to keep a lot of the product 
on the tip of the brush and then continue the line all the way down, all the way down to the bottom, just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm gonna load up my brush and then just barely, barely touch the surface. That way it keeps it as three dimensional as we possibly can. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna load it up and I'm just gonna follow through all the way down to the very bottom, making sure that I'm keeping a very light contact on the surface. That way it gives it that raised look. Try to keep this as even and as straight as we possibly can. Now, once we've established those lines, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a little bit of crystal glitter mix, and I'm just going to pour that onto the surface. And then I'm just gonna lightly tap that off, as you can see, and then we're gonna get that back inside the light for 30 seconds. Now, what I'm going to do once it comes out of the light is I'm just going to brush off the glitter from the surface and as you can see the glitter has only stuck to the wet gel surface now what we're going to do is we're going to paint some detailed lines this time i'm going to use a micro detailer notice how i take the tip of the brush and i'm just floating in some detailed lines on the left side and what this is going to do is it's going to keep that raised look again just barely touching the surface, kind of gliding it through. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All you want to ensure is that you have that nice raised effect. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work it as close to the bottom as we can. Notice that they're getting smaller and smaller. And once we get down to the edge, again, we're going to take the glitter I'm just going to pour that over the surface. Once we've poured it over the surface, I'm gonna literally tap that off. It'll hold it in place and we're gonna get it back inside the light for 30 seconds. Okay, so once we come out of the light, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use a light duster brush. I'm just gonna tap off the excess and make sure that we get most of the glitter off. And as you can see, we've created this really nice textured look. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Again, just with the tip of my brush, we're going to start adding some really nice texture. And notice that I'm being really light-handed, just taking the tip of my brush and just working some really, really nice even lines all the way down the side, making sure that we have the right texture then you'll also notice as I start getting closer to the bottom, the lines are going to start getting much smaller. And then what we're going to do again is we're going to take our crystal glitter mix. I'm just going to pour that over the surface. Tap that off. And then get that back inside the light for 30 more seconds. By breaking it down into steps, you're going to prevent the gel from running into each other or basically getting too flat. What we're going to do again is we're going to lightly dust that off and what we're left with is the center. And then what we're going to do again is draw in. You can see I'm doing sections just like this and then right on top. Then I'm gonna do the same exact thing here, here, here. And we're just going to continue with that same pattern all the way down to the bottom. Again, it's not about making it absolutely perfect. It's just getting some consistency all the way through.
And then what you can do for filler space is just take small dots. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to place those right in the areas that we need. I'm gonna place one right up here on top. And I'm gonna place one right here down at the bottom just to accentuate the top and bottom. And then what we're going to do is take a little bit of crystal litter mix. We're going to pour that back over the surface. Tap that off just like this. Let's get that back inside the light for a minimum of 30 seconds. And then you're going to see what the design looks like when it's complete. Last but not least, I'm just going to lightly tap that off. And as you can see, with the glitter on top of the mission control, you're going to create the optimum sweater look.